What is going on, bro dogs and ho cats? This is Zio from Zio Production Video, and we are here on the Minecraft Done Sexy. That's sexy. <laughs> on the Minecraft Done Sexy single player Let's Play Survival Map World. All of the above. Uh, we are here, and we have done a few things since the last time we've met. Uh, it has been a couple of days. This is uh, episode four, I believe. And today, like I mentioned uh, in the past couple of videos, we are doing work on a house. And as you can see, we have started. So, quite a few things to take in. I did not expect that lag. I thought we would have no hiccups on lag or uh, chunks loading in or anything like that. Today's adventures uh, should not create too much because we've already been to the places that we are going to be traveling to. So anyway... Uh, we are here, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of a modern style look. <clears throat> also, if my voice is gruffy, it might be, and I might do some coughing. I actually went to the doctor's over the weekend, and uh, I've never smoked in my life, and uh, I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. But I had this nasty cough, and I thought it was just a cold, and then it kept staying with me. I, I may have even mentioned it, I think, in like episode one or something. And uh, I went to the doctors. The doctor said uh, it sounded like emphysema when he listened to my lungs. So I did a breathing test, and I'm on uh, <clears throat> an inhaler and some other shit. It's crazy. I've had asthma since I was a kid. When I was playing soccer a lot, uh, the doctor, uh, I, when I was like running a, a, a shit ton, I would uh, start wheezing after a while, and so I was I had asthma. And then it went away and I had no problems for years and years and now for whatever reason it's kicking up. It could also be in combination with allergies, but it sucks. I would never wish it on anybody. Not being able to breathe is pretty shitty. So I've been trying to get my voice back and trying to feel a little bit better uh, the past couple of days. That's due to the lack of videos and I, I do apologize about that. But I've also been working on some house designs in a creative world. And you'll see where I'm at uh, with this design in a while. I'm not sure if we can do too much work on it because it takes a lot of clay and uh, the clay that you see here in my inventory I got due to a swamp biome over there. I looked around for a little bit, explored all of the deserts and there was no mesa and then I looked up on it and I realized that it's a pretty rare biome. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going with a modern look. Uh, I'm going also going with like an open look to it. Uh, basically no doors. Uh, which could come back to bite me in a single player world, but that's a risk uh, I'm okay taking. Uh, mainly because I, I do try and go to sleep at night <coughs> whenever I can. And I'll try and do some, some nice ways to light this place up uh, so that uh, it looks sweet, uh, especially once I go to the nether. And in fact, let's uh, take a look. You guys might see my seed here, maybe not. So yeah, the super sexy beast world. Uh, we're going to my creative world now. Now this is far from done, but as you can see I plan to make it two stories. Uh, so we have basically here the goal is to just um, I don't know, I, I don't know how I feel about the roof uh, with kinda like the purple look to it. Uh, it is the light blue clay I believe. The types of clay I'm using are the light gray. Yeah, light gray, white, and light blue. I also had access to these pretty easy because of the flowers that I have. Uh, and I mean, it's not done, but this is where I'm at. And then I thought I'd start building it in the single player world. I was like, why not, you know? Uh, because that's where I need to get my episodes done. Uh, but I think it's good to, to do things in creative. If you're a builder like myself, I am really, really nitpicky and I want to make things look perfect the way I want to. And that doesn't really lend itself to building on camera for a Let's Play. Um, uh, there's a YouTuber, his name is Corrales, and he does a lot of uh, building videos where he's in creative and he does houses in different styles. And uh, he's, he's recently remarked how it's kind of awkward and difficult to commentate while you're doing that. Uh, but I have this light here, so I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do with the second layer. I do want a bedroom to go up here. 
Uh, down here, I think we are going to have like a living room. Um, and then this is just kind of like an open hallway. In the basement is where the kitchen and a couple other small rooms will be. Uh, I really like the way that I was able to get the staircases to look. Uh, and I kind of wanted this staircase to go, it would technically be on these two blocks right here, to go underneath the other one. But then I I wanted a different design for the, the roof of it. Uh, so it's a little bit further out. But I think we got something good here. Uh, the only thing I'm not too sure about is this. I don't think we need it. Uh, and we should be okay here, I think. The issue with that is the the way that that this strip looks is not really appealing to me. Uh, so we we might have to do something about that. Um, it's conceivable that we could just bring it down. But that doesn't look as good. I just don't like the fact that it's like that. Uh, we're, we'll have, we'll have to figure something out later. Uh, but I like I like this look to the hallway and then. Uh, I'm going with, I think, also light blue stained glass uh, panels. Uh, I think it, it matches the color scheme really well. And one of the things in terms of building when you're you're creating like actual buildings is to just stick to a few materials. Uh, you don't want to go overboard. You can actually see these are some of the other designs that I started working on. And one of them, this one, I was really far in and it was kind of getting really really complicated and I was like I don't even have the materials to do this in my single player world it's not going to be finished for a while um, the more I look at this the more I like it but it took me a while to get to that point because the roof here definitely I it took me a while to get to I, I don't even think this is correct right here uh, in fact I'm not even sure what's correct f like this Basically, I had I had uh, revised this several times over the weekend, trying to get somewhere. Um, you can see the interior. Like I really did work on this quite a bit. Uh, I worked on the design. It's got a more brown feel to it. It's kind of like a log cabin. Um, I really like acacia wood in building. Uh, oops. <laughs> and I I kind of want to use that material more. And it actually looks really nice with all of the other materials here. The only things that stand out are the uh, the bricks, and then to an extent, uh, to an extent the the stone bricks. So um, the side over here, I actually was able to get worked out. This side is what the final design kind of was, but uh, up here I wasn't really sure with where I wanted to go. This is a really large roof, and just a really large build overall. Now, the problem with that is <clears throat> when you actually get inside there's really not much space. I mean you can put a lot in here uh, but it's not like an open floor because you have the staircase here which in hindsight it may have been better to put off to the side or something which is what I'm doing it with my new build which I like a lot more. I wanted to go with just a minimalistic simple look. It's very possible that something like this I could go back to in the future. I kind of like the the patio look. Uh, I feel like there could definitely be some changes though. But it's close. That, that was close. I was really trying to work with that for a while. Here I also started on something, which actually that's not the side it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be from this side. And this can actually be a decent look for a building, but not for a house. This is uh, an okay look for like a uh, an apartment style building. I think w there's a lot more stone to it. Um, you kind of got a balcony. This would be like a perfect apartment, I think. I, th I like this quite a bit. And again, I'm going with like uh, this one, I was going more simple. And then I figured, hey, there's a swamp biome close by. I can start working on a. Uh, uh, working with the clay materials and let's see what we can do. And I do have access to this. Uh, that music in the background is really nice. I haven't heard a lot of the newer stuff. Uh, and then out here, you got an, a little balcony as well to look out to. Uh, and I want to do another one of those on this side and make it kind of more... Uh, kind of like a larger balcony. 
similar to the patio down here. Uh, but definitely a bedroom will be up here. I just got to figure out how I want to get things organized. It takes me a while to do that. I'm a, it, I'm a tedious builder, uh, and it would it's not really inviting for video. Um, and this isn't even done by any means, and it's a really simple approach. <clears throat> I think the scale of it is pretty large too for a beginning house. So I don't know if I would always recommend that. Uh, but I, I like it. I like the direction it's going. I think we can uh, we can work on the interior in the future and, and do some cool things there. There's not too much space, but I'm going to make up for that with the bedroom up there and the kitchen area and whatnot in the basement. And the basement will be uh, pretty sweet. This is just kind of like a, an open living room area. There might be, we might put like a TV on the wall and like a very small couch area here with some rug lighting and all that good stuff so uh, yeah there's some good plans to it uh, I t tell me what you guys think I do want some feedback I deliberated a really long time on this color scheme and also the roof being this I like it looking out from here when it's the one block uh, and in fact I think I might need to alter the roof on the top there but uh, when you're here, it just it doesn't look good. Like having it be a solid floor, I think this looks better as a wall or a roof or something. Uh, I will be honest, my biggest weakness in building are roofs. If I'm building buildings, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, but if I'm building buildings, uh, roofs are my biggest nemesis. And here I'm still not to a point where I like it. Because the issue is, in almost every part of the world that you're going to be in, you're going to get an angle like this, you know, something like this. And that just looks really sleek, you know. Uh, but it's when you get up to the top and you see all of this open space, you're kind of asking yourself, what is this, you know. Uh, it's very, it's... Just, it, I don't know. It's it's not necessarily for for me. So I this is something that I'm gonna have to continue to work on, and I tried to alleviate this by making a second floor. I wasn't initially going to do that, um, but then I thought it would add a nice overall look, and I wanted to break up this big space. If you imagine how large this is, think of this all being that bluish purple color. Uh, it's not really appealing when you're on top. Then again, the the ironic thing is, in the world, you're going to be down here almost 100% of the time. So you don't realize how big of an issue it is. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to try and maybe even add a third story or just like a tower area to break it up. Uh, I'm going to start having to half slab this or something. Uh, there's definitely a lot of directions it can go, and I'm going to spend a lot of time on it. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at, and then also uh, go back into the actual single-player world and show you where I'm at as well. Uh, the reason that I haven't been able to progress further is just simply due to I need more materials, and a lot of this comes from a mesa biome, and so I'm having to get my clay from a swamp, which is uh, not really the greatest thing in the world because I don't have any like affi uh, aqua affinity or anything like that. This is where the staircase is going to go, and I'm trying to conserve the materials as best as I can. You know, like, right here is a solid block. Uh, it's a 3x3, three three. and in the creative, you know, I have this, like, like that. But then this block never gets seen, so I can just use dirt, essentially. So, there is that. Uh, but, uh, how far am I at? We are at 15 minutes in. <clears throat> I was thinking about maybe just calling the episode here, uh, but I do need to gather some clay, uh, so we might go on a very small expedition and come back, so uh, I'm going to cut away, and when I come back, if I do have more clay, we might do a little bit of building on here, and uh, I can talk about some of the stuff that I was watching over the weekend, and uh, keep it a little bit more entertaining, and uh, separated from just strictly building this episode, so I will be right back
Ah. Sunsets are beautiful, aren't they? Think. Think I might just watch this for a little bit. Let you guys watch too. The cool thing about the uh, the clay blocks is they react to the uh, the sun setting or rising. Fairly, fairly badass, I think. You can see like the colors like actually changing due to the lighting. It like really takes into effect when it gets really close to the uh, ground. I think the the better one would be a uh, sunrise. But yeah, that looks the colors are definitely you can see them take effect. So here we are. I need to get some more lighting up in here. Huh? <laughs> but anyway, uh we are back. I need to go take a nap in Minecraft. <laughs> and uh as I build a little bit here, I'm just going to talk about the weekend some awesome stuff for esports that I just I was watching uh, there was uh, LCS of course which I'm sure several of you follow uh, League of Legends uh, there was also the Call of Duty US uh, regional championships which was yeah, I don't know like I play Call of Duty uh, but I'm, I haven't been one to like follow the competitive scene because like a lot of the actual players in the competitive scene are kind of obnoxious and they're it's all about their ego, you know. Uh, so that hasn't been something that I've you know really really looked into. But I do follow Optic a little bit, uh, and you know I said screw it, I'm I'm gonna get into the drama. So there's a lot of drama in the Call of Duty competitive scene, but the U.S. regionals were over the weekend and it was really intense uh, I, I had a lot of fun watching that uh, and it's been a while since I've had that much that much fun um, the LCS just I don't know maybe it gets dull after a while and it's not as interesting to me but definitely um, that was that was cool to watch and Optic did qualify which was kinda sweet not many of you here probably uh, care anything but <laughs> I don't know for me it was fun uh, what else was there there was like three things I was watching at the same time it was like LCS there was that uh, then there was something else I'm trying to remember uh, there was golf which I was watching a little bit because Tiger on Saturday went really really low and played really well and then he fell off on Sunday which was kind of unfortunate uh, he has like back issues I don't know whatever there's probably some uh, some lovers and haters of Tiger out there, but he he was um, he was my idol when I was growing up when I was playing golf. So you know, despite all the shit that went down, I was much older when that happened. Anyway, I still admired what he did on the golf course. You know, so that's pretty much what Tiger has become at this point. Because you can't really, you know, kids can't really take him as a role model. If it makes any sense. I don't know how I feel about the border that I did here. I wanted to. I, I really like that look, but then I don't like it when it comes into contact with this, and it kind of takes away from it. Uh, but anyway, I have dramatically transformed this house since last time, and it's quite a bit different. We've added some things, and I've also greatly modified what I originally had for the the house on the creative. Uh, this side looks totally different. The the roof is totally different. I went with cyan because I think what I was feeling was that the the roof didn't it didn't feel definitive. Like it wasn't it, it didn't I don't know. This color is really sweet, but I don't think it's good as uh, to be a roof. I'm just I'm not gonna try and like you know butter that up or anything I'm just gonna say basically this material I don't think looks good as a roof whereas the cyan does because it looks similar to stone so I like the fact that 
uh, the house, it feels supported now. And you can see the roof, whereas I think the blue was also blending in with the sky a little bit. So it kind of made it difficult to tell where the roof was. Uh, still far from done. I gotta work out the upper part and and then eventually we're gonna have to do the interior, but the main thing that I did here was I reworked this area to where the, uh, the outside over here is entirely different too. Um, this part I wanted to go for a t I wanted to have that open feel and I still might edit this a little bit. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is gonna look any better. It might. But I wanted to have that uh, open feel. Ooh, we are running low. Uh, since last time I went out to a swamp biome, I traveled about 3,000 blocks and got about 10 to 12 stacks of clay. Uh, I think that looks better. We should probably take this down. Yeah, that looks... That, that, there we go. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. But we traveled a really long way. Or I did, and uh, gathered a ton of clay from swamp and ocean and all that good stuff. And we're almost running down at this point too. Like this takes a lot of clay. Uh, I don't think I will regret my decision to use this material in a while. Uh, but it just takes a lot, and uh, so it, this project may not be done in a while. But I think what I'm gonna try and do is. I think now we're getting past uh, 20 minutes for this episode, and I don't want to keep it too long. Uh, I just want to kind of like show the roof here, and and I wanted to give you guys an insight of the building process. You can see like with all of the dirt I have, I am really taking consideration each block and trying to conserve it. So that is something important for survival when you're building. In creative, you have you know you have that uh, you can use th use things liberally and um, you wait. Uh, you can waste materials essentially, uh, but here I'm being really careful as to which materials will, are visible, and the ones that you can't see, I am putting dirt. Um, so I, I definitely take that in, can, into consideration. And we have the roof here. Uh, I still want to keep the uh, the light blue on that part uh, for the outline. I think it uh, just it really has a nice nice look to it. Uh, I like that material and I think that looks a little bit better than the cyan, at least for the ceiling. I still, for, uh, there's a difference between a roof and a ceiling in regular houses. So I'm trying to get that feel here and I wanted to, the geometry of this, I wanted to have it to where it, it really felt like an actual ceiling. You know, this is kind of like a crown molding type of deal. Uh, you have the same going on here. In fact, I just realized that they're they're very similar. Um, so that is going on, and it f it makes it feel like individual rooms. Uh, here, the reason that I changed this in the first place was because there was a lot of unused space in this area, and I wanted to you know have a little bit more window room. Uh, but also, I thought that this could be actually be like a mini bathroom. And I was initially going to do that, and I think I just opt for this, and I, I think I'm a little bit more satisfied with that. Uh, overall, I like it. Uh, there are definitely some things that can be changed. This may look better. Is just oh god damn it! I really suck at blazing blocks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is not my forte. So anyway, that, I mean, take it or leave it. That it looks okay. I'm not like super enthusiastic about this. Uh, we could also define that a little bit more, and then just bring this out slightly. And open it up a little bit. So basically, these are the changes that I think about when I'm building. I'm really meticulous. That's not something that everybody needs to have for sure. Uh, so I don't, you know, recommend it. Uh, 
again, like I mentioned a while back, this this style of building definitely is suited for creative, not survival. Uh, but I really wanted to make this series focused on survival to to help you guys uh, spice things up a little bit. And uh, I think so far we've done a decent job of that. I like that a, lo a lot more. Um, the reason I like that, and again, I'll I'll explain this a little bit, is oops, is uh. You have like an actual border here for the uh, for the doorway. Um, I don't know if I like it being a one and a half high right there, but there's not too much I can do to get around that. Now the only issue with that is obviously uh, this area. This doesn't look very good, and I think to alleviate that, we'll just make this whole wall the white clay, and we'll probably call it a day after that. Uh, I didn't really, I can't really remember the other thing that I was watching over the weekend, which is kind of pissing me off. Um, oh, Magic. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I play Magic, uh, Magic the Gathering. If you guys are familiar with Hearthstone, Magic is basically the physical version of that, and it's just been around, it's the, I think, one of the longest lasting uh, TCGs and uh, collectible card games out there. And it basically is one of the reasons that Hearthstone is so successful today just because uh, it, the fact that it exists makes it to where that's a genre that people can can enjoy. Uh, so I play that and over the weekend there was Grand Prix Richmond. Uh, many of you are probably just saying like what what is this? Uh, it actually made some news the other day because uh, some guy posted pictures of of ass cracks from the event but it w it broke records uh, for being the largest constructed uh, card tournament of all time. There were 4,300 people, which is ridiculous. Uh, a lot of the tournaments that I go to only really have between 50 and 300, so it's just insane to think of that many people in one venue playing Magic. A lot of the people don't use bodily hygiene. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of disgusting, but I love the game. Uh, I love the the trading aspect of it. I love the uh, sometimes the collectible part of it, the playing. Um, just a lot of cool things about the game, and so that was on this weekend too. I almost forgot about that. So I was watching those three things, and then golf, and there was some hockey on as well. So it was it was a fun weekend. Um, the only thing I I don't know about this here, uh, this little staircase. Don't know if it really goes with our. I, d I just don't like that it, it extends this way. I kind of want to put a wall here. Uh, the issue with that again would be it breaks up this nice ceiling. So I don't know. But anyway, I think this is a bad time to wrap up the episode. We are running a little long here. So yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. This was episode four. Uh, by episode five, it might be a few days from now. Um, probably Friday, Saturday, somewhere in there. I, I just don't have the, the ability and the time to really turn out a video every day. Uh, I wish I could. I might start trying and do that, but maybe Friday or Saturday, episode 5 will go up. And then if I'm doing that UHC, I need to get in contact with uh, Slashway, but uh, if I do that, then then look look out for that, too. I think that's going to be really fun. I, ho I hope we get into that, uh, so I'm not really sure of the outcome th uh, right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think episode 5 we might have this thing done, or at least the exterior done, and then we'll work on the interior. But I also kind of want to start on a portal, uh, another portal room uh, building, so that we can uh, head on over there. I uh, definitely need to get some glowstone, and quartz would be sweet. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this uh, I'm just dragging this episode on. We did a little bit of building, just a nice talkative episode. Uh, I did a lot of traveling behind the scenes to get this clay, and we are already running out. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to do some some things to to gather some more, and I might start exploring in different directions. So just a lot of different things that I have to do on my own time. I guess we still have almost a stack uh, left over that we can use. I made way too much of this. I'm kind of an kind of disappointed about that but luckily I think with the build we are getting towards the end uh, we pretty much have the entire 
lower four done um, in terms of the structure which is sweet uh, we still need to do the basement which I haven't even like thought about that yet maybe a few modifications here or there and then we need to do the the upper story which I have somewhat planned out but I need to think of something for this side so lots of things and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you took something from it um, again this this is a build centric series and will be uh, if you have any suggestions if you have any uh, comments if you if you love me if you hate me whatever you want to do uh, post that down below and uh, I will see you all later thank you for watching